Can we get three? I meant three heads. Can we get three heads? We can! Where's your energy gone, mate? It's gone in the bin. That's what I'm talking about. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsors of the channel, PDCGO Store, where you can buy codes with 5% off using the discount code FTW. And PokeXWord, a Pokemon puzzle and crossword website. Links to both of these websites are linked in the description down below. Now, let's get going. Ah, uh, what is that monstrosity on his face? Yes, I've got a spot. Well done. You're a genius. God, it's really like a third eye. I can't not look at it. <laughs> anyway, that aside, what are we playing today? <laughs> we are playing with Seeking. I wanted to revisit this uh, this card here and see how it's faring in the current format. I mean, there's a bunch of energy running around all over the gaff, so how good is Ripping Horn? Well, of course, we have that Ripping Horn attack I just mentioned. Flip three coins for each head's discarded energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's crazy potential for just milling your opponent out. Combine that with the likes of Crushing Hammer and Glimmer Tangle, you can see how this can be quite devastating. So I've made this build here and tried to accommodate a lot of things here. We've got Wash Energy to deal with you know, lost boxes and basically any effect of an attack that can happen on our Seeking, your Vessels, anything down that line. We have Empodeon V in here as well, just to shut off some basic abilities, really good with dealing with Regis and stuff like that, because of course, Regis can bring the energies back. So we need a way to deal with that. Empodeon is a great way to do it there. Uh, we also have a Pidgeot V in here. Now, why is this in here? Well, there's a couple of times I've played this deck and I decked out myself. I don't want that up in my tan, all right? Not in my gaff. So we got Pidgeot V here being able to use Vanishing Wings and basically shuffle itself back into the deck. Deck. If you are in that kind of dire situation at the end, an absolute lifesaver. We also got the cheeky Miss Fortune Sisters. You look very fortunate to me if I say so myself. That made no sense. Look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck and it's got any number of item cards you find there. So again, just additional mill, I guess you could say. Um, it just getting, just bringing them down to a potential deck out position if it's something that is necessary. Now granted, we're not actually really trying to mill. We're more so trying to get rid of energy, um, but I, I, I like it. And it's good fun in this deck sometimes. So we got it in here anyway. But other than that, it's pretty much box standard. We have Arida as our main supporter. Very strong in this deck. Of course, allowing us to search for our, uh, you know, crushing hammers, our, our capacious buckets for energies, vacuums for tool discard, stadium discard, all that kind of stuff, whilst just keeping our Seeking line going. Considering this is not such a high maintenance card, something like Arida is really strong here. So I really like Arida in this bad boy. Without further ado, let's get moving. Yeah. Well, that's not a great start, starting to pitch you up. <laughs> it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Now, you might have seen the one, hey, hey Sean, hey, Sean, your boy, where, 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 where have you been? The videos, they've, they've taken a bit of a, a bit of a dip in consistency. Uh, funnily enough, recently, a couple of unfortunate things have happened. Uh, not really that affects the video making process, but it kind of does. Uh, this one, not so much. I've done my foot in. I don't know how. I've just done my foot in completely, right? Um, I was picking my son up from school one day, and we like to play this game we call Dodge the Box, right? It's just, you know, we like to play a little game on the way back. It's good fun. Um, uh, I'm just going to use my noggin first. Just let me let me do that before we continue. Right, so uh, we need to set up pretty strongly here. Okay, I uh, don't know what I'm playing there, but hopefully it's something we can really take advantage of and, uh, you know, ruin their day, basically. That's the, that's the dream. I think I just want to get myself Goldeen and a Quick Ball and work towards getting, um, what do I want to do here? Get rid of Lost Vacuum. Go ahead and get, I didn't, I, just, I forgot to put in this deck. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Okay, I did. <laughs> I was like, I forgot to put in a retreat out. <laughs> no, we have it, we have it. I'm not a dumb dumb yet. We'll see later on. I think we're just going to go with that. Yeah, so I was taking them back from school and we play a game called Dodge the Box. So as you're walking on the pavement, if you're in, if you're in Britain, you know this very well. Usually they're slabbed and there's other parts of the pavement that are tarmacked and they have different patches from where it's been repaired or where there's pipe in put, it, put in uh, for like gas, electric and kind of stuff. Um, and we, our goal is kind of like dodge a lot of that stuff as you know, if you step on a crack, it's like, you know, step on a crack, break your mom's back. If you step on a crack, you lose a life. If you step on a box, you lose a life. Yeah, that's kind of the gist, right? So we play that. It's a good fun. It's a good laugh. Um, I was playing that, and considering that I haven't walked too much because it was the Christmas holidays, and I just took time to myself to do nothing, pretty much for it. Um, oh, actually, do I go for... I think I'm going to go for an air balloon here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for an air balloon and an empoleon. Get rid of the empoleon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's where the brain starts growing, you see. When you start thinking outside the box, you start thinking in the uh, the third dimension. Well, you're in the third dimension. So if you're thinking in the third dimension, aren't you technically just thinking normal? Anyway, let's see if we can find ourselves cheeky energy. 
Oh, yeah. Time to get me in, baby. Time to get going. Obviously, depends on the coin flip, so we don't have Glimwood up and running. But we should, you know, most of the time you're getting ahead. Yeah, here we go. Lovely. Perfectly fine. There's an energy into this car pile there. Um, yeah, so we're playing this. And then, see, because I haven't walked for so long, like far, because usually, you know, Christmas time, just spending time chilling, yada, yada, yada. And when it's school, I we walk 30 minutes there and back each day. So about an hour's worth of walking. So that's a, just a sudden increase in walking that exists. I'm not going to have Misfortune Sisters. I need to get another Sea King out. So I'm going to go for a Goldeen and... Do we have Sea King in hand? We do. Uh, I guess we'll just get a Crushing Hammer here. See, here we don't really need too much. We can just, you know, start getting ahead of the curve a little bit. Um, we're not going to deck out, thanks to Pidgeot, so we're fine. Let's do that. Um, what's the same? Yeah, so to just suddenly walk in that much, that's going to have enough strain naturally. But jumping about and twisting the ankle and, you know, landing high heavy impact stuff like that has just done my foot in really, really badly. Like, it's really hard to take him to school now. Um, I've got a dot appointment tomorrow anyway. Let's figure out what it is. Uh, but it's not looking good. It's been about two weeks and it's horrible. It is, it's painful. It's very painful. Um, that aside, my suffering aside, and me looking clearly looking for sympathy... <laughs> Um, yeah, that, uh, it's kind of been a bit of a pain just to exist currently, uh, which is annoying. And on top of that, I've had some really, I guess probably because of it, I've had some really bad insomnia. Like, bad insomnia. I did a all-nighter the other day. Um, they are not fun. They are not fun. Literally the whole night I couldn't sleep. I didn't know why I was getting irritated. I tried reading. Reading. <laughs> yeah. No, none of it worked. And for the past... Pretty much since then, I've been trying to refix because obviously my sleep, my sleep schedule has just been ruined because of that. Just re recalibrate it, fix it. So there's been days where I've been trying to stay awake because um, obviously I, I, I don't sleep till very late at night or not at all. Drop my son to school, come back and crash. Um, so there's been days where I'm just trying to stay awake. Uh, this is what this is probably the most the first successful one. So I'm here recording. Um, so I couldn't be, I, yeah, I couldn't record, simply couldn't record. Also. This 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 uh, gentleman over here is uh, clearly not. Oh, oh 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 my gosh! Oh, I feel bad. There's just that much stuff gone. Bye bye. Look at that go. Look at that. We don't even need to do anything. I'm just gonna keep passing. We won't deck out. We're fine unless they gust it. Maybe I should shuffle it back into the deck now, just in case there's something cheeky going on. Mm. We don't need to yet. We don't need to. Yeah. So I've just been having really bad insomnia, and it's just affecting my day um, to a point. Well, I don't, I don't have time to record videos. You know what I mean? It's, it's not great. So, hopefully, it's fixed now. Um, I have a goal to, I've had a goal to reset it, and it's been working. I've been sleeping more at the correct times, and waking up at the appropriate times. So it's, it's looking good so far. It is looking good. Right? Do you know what? I am going to shuffle you back because there's really no need for you to be here. There's none, and I don't want to risk an instant KO, which would just be too, too dangerous. And again, we're just going to chill. I'll put a wash here in case there's some sort of effect they can do. Uh, yeah, I think they're a bit scared. <laughs> uh, they might be a bit scared to drop anything down, but they, listen, you got to play the game, okay? The game's here, you got to play it. Um, there's no reason to venture's Manaphy, so I'm not going to do it. What's going on here anyway? This deck is all over the gaff. Oh my god. Really? I don't play PTC Joe for that long, and they're like, uh, Shoney boy, you're coming back. we got to make sure you're not, you're, not, you're not bad all of a sudden. Let me just throw, throw uh, I don't know, PDC Joe is so unpredictable nowadays. So I'm, I'm still seeing tweets from other people saying how PDC Joe is just giving them terrible hands and stuff. It just, I don't get it. But he's what it is. You know, he's what it is. Right, so now they're attacking. So this Grimsnarl does, yeah, more damage dependent on, I think, having fewer bench Pokemon. So the least, less I bench, the better, I think. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, two or fewer bench Pokemon. Cool. That's fine by me, mate. That's fine by me. It means I can bench whatever I want. Okay. Bro, you're coming in too soon. All right. Let's Ordinary Rod. We can do that. And uh, get, get ourselves Goldeen and Sea King back and an energy. And I kind of need to bench quite aggressively here because I have no, no draw. No readers, nothing like that. And I need an out here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Get ahead. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're Gucci. We're just fine. We are. We're just okay. Uh, they probably got uh, another urn in here somewhere, I expect. What does this do again? Put a single strike support from your Discord pile into your hand. I did not realize that existed. Right. Um, I'm going to shuffle you back in again. 
Maybe I should have barreled first because then I might draw into it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm confident. I'm confident enough we've got this. Uh, vacuum's not going to do anything for us. Uh, boss isn't. Ripping Horn, though, will definitely get. <laughs> They're going to have no energy by the end of this bad boy. Um, no, we don't want to flip again. Although, that said, they're being very conservative on their energy. They may kind of reserve enough, so to speak, to hope to maybe knock us out. So we might might not be an ideal situation for us. We just got to hope that, you know, that ain't the case. Because they the fact that they have a low energy attack cost and they don't need to get too many Pokemon out means they can kind of just keep going with this card till the end of the game, effectively speaking. Um, which means they can be very more, much more reserved on their on this stuff. Um, so we just got, yeah, you can see why I've really been trying to chain my, my Sea Kings here. It's, uh, it's a bit scary. I'm being, I'm being scared. Let's play you. Feels terrible, but we got to do it. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to do this. Boss's orders, away the Glimwood to activate the Glimwood. There we go. All right, come on. I need, I need another Goldeen down. Where's, where's, where's the Goldies? There we go. That's fine. Get rid of the Bidoof. Lovely. Okay, we have Sea King as well. That's good. Just going to draw a bit more. It's good to know that we're keeping up, though. We are keeping up. I like that. But the thing is, we know there's going to be more coming out. And we may not get the double. Oh, we need to go again. Come on, double heads. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Oh, triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Love that. Absolutely love that. And they're going to come in with another two. Oh, the, bro, the earth. Bro. Stop it. <laughs> Come on! I'm here trying to build energy and they're sitting there just going, huh? Sorry, who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's not looking good, Brev. It ain't looking good, mate. If only we could have got rid of some of them urns. I guarantee you they got four of these in the deck. Guarantee it. They have four of them, Donnies. Uh, oh. That's an interesting take. I guess they don't want to knock themselves out. I guess that's the idea, right? They don't want to be doing that now, do they? Gosh, this is rough. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Glimwoods. And what? And what? Say something. Let's get you down. I do not feel confident now. <laughs> I do not feel confident. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crushing Hammer? Uh, it doesn't matter. We don't know. We're going to save the Crushing Hammer. Bro, there's... Yeah. There's no chance we we're getting six, six, six tails. No way. No way, you know. Now they're going to double up again. They might just win by... Just, just because of Urn. What a pain. What a pain. Ah, uh, what a nuisance. Absolute nuisance. And they get heads. Oh, it's only fair though, isn't it? It's only fair they get heads. I've been getting, I've been ripping all of them. With are ripping all. So it's only fair they get heads. But what, what, what can they grab with it, really? I guess they can try and get another, another impidimp down. Because they can still bench one more card and still do max damage. That said, they don't even need to work. They should effectively bench everything. Because they kind of... Don't need to worry about that additional damage. The rear attack with single strike energy alone would suffice, right? You're doing, what, 140 currently? Yeah, they're going to get another impotent now because they're, they're worried about... Yeah, that's perfectly fair. But I guarantee you, they've got another urn in hand. I guarantee it. It's just not... It just ain't good, is it? It's just not a good start. <laughs> of course... Uh, appreciate your PDCGO. Glad to be back. Throw me up against the deck that can literally deal with me. Ain't it something? Ain't it something? All right. Well, I think this is our last stretch. <laughs> Great to know. Yeah, no more recovery available. None of that. None of that, mate. None of that. That's just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think that suffices. Good, good job, phone. Good job. Um... How many energy down? Oh, they're gonna have enough. Misfortune sisters! You, you, you. Uh, still. <sighs> they're gonna have enough, aren't they? They're gonna have a dot. No, no, no. Not now. Not now. We can't have this now. Yes, okay. All right, okay. About to say, they're gone. They have to uh, use the, the, the Houndoom for a single strike and manly attach this turn in order to get a KO. There's no way. They haven't, like, shuffle drawn or anything like that, right? No, they've drawn nothing. There was no way they had three urns in their hand. Yes? Okay. 
Here's where, here's where something like a misfortune, misfortune system would be good. Or just a, an attack would be good. <laughs> but, no. All right. What cards don't we need? We definitely don't need these two. I'm not going to deck out. Don't worry. I know I've got three cards left. Relax, mate. Relax. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to boss. Boss seems like a good shout. Yeah, boss seems like a good shout. Let's boss you up. And then we're going to shuffle Pidgeot back into the deck. That's why it's here. So we don't deck out. Granted, a Marnie would probably cause some problems. No, no. Marnie would be fine. We have five cards in total. Even a Marnie won't stop us. Although, was that boss the correct move? Because um, they could just attach to the bench and then we, we can't really do anything. <laughs> we could crushing hammer. <laughs> That's really it. All right. There we go. We're not decking out, my friend. It ain't happening. We're not. The thing is, though, I think they've got more resources available. They probably have more urns. They probably have more stuff to work with. Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to sit and wait now and figure it out. Fingers crossed they only play two urn or something. I, I, I mean, there's no way in hell they're playing like four urn. That ain't happening. No way. No single strike in deck. They've prized a the single strike energy. Right? Oh, no. That's two of them coming back. Ah, I don't like it. Oh. Maybe I should have saved that bottle when it was more important. Oh, what's on my lips? That said, we do need to get this houndoom out of the way somehow. So, there's that. And now we just sit and wait. <laughs> Pretty much sitting here, chilling, chilling out. Nobody's here yet. Yeah, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Come on. Oh, there comes an energy. Ah, Bruno, I don't know if you've made the right call there, Chief, you see. Uh, unless you've got another urn. Oh, I can go ahead and just discard that right from the, right the get-go. Unless they've already had it. You cheeky bugger! You had it all along? No, you can't be doing that, Chief. That's uh, it's, uh, it's fraudulence. They made, it, uh, they made it out like they didn't have it because they did the single strike thing. And, uh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that, but I, I guarantee you they got Urn. They wouldn't make that play if they didn't have Urn, right? They wouldn't just discard two critical energy if they didn't have an Urn to play. No way. No way in hell. All right, it, it looks like this might be a little bit of a rinse and repeat for a couple of turns, so I'll skip ahead if necessary. All right, there's an energy. It's a couple of turns have been, by the way. A couple of turns have been by. Um, there's one energy. Oh, maybe they're just, they're just gonna bite their way through. That feels bad. Ah, no, no, no. Oh no, I screwed myself over. I got caught in the moment. I didn't put the Pidgeot back. I've lost. <laughs> All that work for nothing. Oh, starting in Polion, but we've had some poor starts. It's as I've said in the last video. Was it last video? When did I say this? I don't know why. The deck, uh, this is Mew, and this is the League Battle variant, I think. No, it could be wrong. Don't know. Don't know. Um, yeah, I'm standing by it. Wait a second. There's an imposter among us. Look, the amount of bloody times. Look, I have four Goldeen, two Bidoof, and the last game I started Pidgeot, and this one I started Polion. I'm sorry, but that's kind of sus. That's a little sus, mate. It's happening a bit too much. Too many times I'm starting these one-offs when I really mathematically shouldn't. Or at least over the span of multiple games, it's mathematically almost impossible, but it happens. I don't know. PTC just sus, sus, sussy, sussy baka. Yeah, sussy baka. I'm telling you. Absolute sussy baka. Right, so what? It oh, it's Clefairy. Um... I, I kind of don't know how I feel about this. I mean, sh we, we should be fine, right? Because they load up all their energy into play to a point where they kind of just use all their energy and then we just got to just discard them. Um, okay. That seems all right. I have to get rid of the Crushing Hammer. I need to get a, a Donny out. I need to get, I need to get a, a Doofy. There we are. And I need to keep these two. They're critical. So we're just going to pass and go from there. Right, so we're playing Clefairy. A different rogue deck, but one that's definitely more functional than what we saw before. 
Um, so that's good. H hopefully they're climbing me up the ELO ladder a little bit again, even though I've just lost the last game. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a bit of going through a little bit of a rut, unfortunately. But it's just, it's just the way it is, man. It's just the way it is. Testing decks and not playing for a while clearly has an impact on um, on ELO. A bit, a bit, a bit, I don't know. Is it just me? Is the ELO a bit too heavy? A bit too easily manipulated and adjusted? I don't know. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't criticize a system that we don't even know exists, or at least if it does exist, we know nothing about it. So, I'm not even going to question that. I'm just going to say it exists. It exists. Right, there's another energy on that Kaferi, but there's nothing there. You ain't got another you. You need some more Donnies, mate. You're just sitting here chilling like a villain. And if I get this bad boy up, the energy's going. It's going out of the way. Hopefully we can deal with this enough. Oh, we, need to get a, we need to get some good heads on these bad boys. We really do. Because they're going to load up tons of energy onto one. And obviously, if each one has three and we just get triple heads, bro, you just remove all that energy. The only thing I'm worried about is this deck probably plays a lot of recovery as well. Again, if it does, I'm going to lose my, my sanity because that's, again, just PTCGO going, oh, here, a deck that you can't beat again. Purely because of the lists. Not because of skill. Not because of effort. Not because of anything else. Just purely the fact that it's that reason. Uh, I have just realized, though, that my Empoleon is doing me a massive favor. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, yes! That's good. Energy recovery gone. Um, they can't use their ability because of Emperor's Eyes. <laughs> I've only just realized that. Hey, <laughs> mate. Listen, yeah? <laughs> Odd times, odd times. My brain ain't working fully, all right? It ain't there, but it's, it's catching up. It's catching up. Oh, that was funny. Okay. So, Emperor's Eyes is active, so they can't really do anything. They can hit me now for, what, 60 damage? That's it. Yeah, this is good. This is really, really good news. Yeah, I, I, this, I didn't mention anything in, in the, uh, the start, like, looking at the list and stuff, but... That's kind of why Misfortune Sisters is in here. I didn't really mention it before. I, I was just like, oh, it's fun to discard stuff. No, it gets rid of uh, recovery resources for energy, which is quite important. All right, I'll, I'll bring up Sea King then. Sure, sure thing, sure thing. You're going to have Kefari online, have it online. I'll just start discarding energy. Then I'll go back to the Empoleon. And I'm fine. All's going to be good in the hood, my friend. They must be struggling, though. They're going to Ranguru now before playing anything. Quick ball. Unless they already had that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That said, they're going to go ahead and Clefairy. Probably get a full board. I'd expect it's probably going to aim for here. Oh, it's Clefairy Shadow Rider. Okay. All right. Uh, does for a little bit of the spanner in the way means this Empoleon's not going to be as good. I was hoping this Empoleon could kind of just stand up the active and just, you know, cause havoc. But no. Uh, we can't really put that up when this is going to come up at some point. It's not really ideal. Anyway, let's go ahead and just start making sure our board is not nice and comfy. Yeah? Nice and comfy like a comfy. There's going to be loads of ease coming up in the format, isn't there? There's comfy, there's a cleft key. <laughs> there's things happening, man. Okay, so we want to... I like the, I like to va I like the vacuum for the... Uh... Yeah, I like that. For the air balloon. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds lovely. And let's just make sure we keep things moving. Get a Sea King and we'll get we'll go for Capacious Bucket. I was gonna call it Captain Bucket. Don't ask me why. <laughs> uh, I actually am gonna shuffle you into the deck. I'm just, I, I, I don't, don't want to take any risks. No risks, my friend. Ripping Horn? That's uh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm not gonna flip again. I'm gonna go with two. It's not three, but it's two. And they've only got one energy and they need to attach for treat in order to actually do anything. And to retreat, they are getting rid of energy. So I don't mind that one bit. I really don't. I think we're in for a good game here. I really do. <laughs> they got an air balloon already. <laughs> well, that was a waste of a waste of a bad boy, innit? A waste of a of the old vacuum. Lovely stuff. But uh, this is kind of a lackluster Shadow Rider, because. The thing is, right, if Clefairy's not doing what Clefairy should be doing in Shadow Rider, then you're not really getting the most out of your, your Shadow Rider at that point. The whole point of Shadow Rider Clefairy is to kind of be a more turbo variant of it, right? It's like, right, okay, like, get loads of Clefairies in the game, get loads of energy out, and then start getting some Shadow Riders up. And then from there, it's just, you, you're, going, you're going in ham. But they've started a bit slowly. 
Um, thanks to this bad boy doing us a favor. So whether they catch up or not, it's going to be a different story. We do have boss's orders, though, so we can boss this bad boy up and start getting rid of that energy. There's another rod. That's a pain, but it's fine. It's only two energy. They probably have a training court, though, which I've got to be worried about. So there's things to bear in mind. Weird here? Ooh. Uh, it's a greedy play. If you're going to do that, it's risky because you could lose all of the energy you have in play. Oh, they got, no, 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 weird is not coming up now. Oh, they're committing, bro. Okay, bro, do your thing, man. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to come up with a sea king. I'm going to give a little slappity slappy with his fin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like. I'm, I'm a bit excited, actually. Three as well. They're not doing the four. Um, That's quite smart, actually, because... uh. No crushing hammer can do some business, but even then we can still do that now. We need some luck now. As I said, we do need some good coin flips. Come on, give me some love, please. We need to see if we can get a crushing hammer as well, just to make a little bit more of a dent. No, unfortunately not, but it's okay. It's all right. Just away, the cookie be crumbling. Right, ripping horn. One, yeah. mm, two. I, I can't, I can't. No, I'm risking for a biscuit. I've got to do it. One, two. Okay, it's the same. <laughs> oh, you should have seen what was going on in my head in that moment. <laughs> it was like, oh, two, it's safe to do it. No, go. Do it again. Risk it for a biscuit. Okay. Just became a slave to my impulse at that point. <laughs> hey, we got the two from it still, so I I'll have it. I'll have it. It's fine. Perfectly fine. It's Gucci. Switching car. Now they're going to start popping off with the Clefairy. But to be fair, they're only getting like one energy out. So... Are they really popping off like that? Like, in, and you're reducing the energy count to go for the shadow, to the shadow? I don't know. I don't know. To be fair, they only have the one Shadow Rider out, so they only really need to get a bunch of energy in play and get this ready to attack. Or, keep using Weird Ear again. There they go. They still need three energies to attack, so we could get rid of all that energy again this turn. Which is kind of big. That said, though, they can get another three back in afterwards. They could be, they could be, they could loop themselves a little bit here. Ah, at which point, again, we need to just really go ham on trying to keep our Sea Kings going. That's really the big question. Right, there's an energy on that. Shauna! Okay, for some reason I fought Marnie. I was, I was, I was worried that I was having to shuffle my hand away. But, uh, no, we're good, we're good. That said, I kind of would have liked to shuffle my hand away because we're looking a bit dire. You know what I'm saying? A bit, bit, bit dire over here. She's not looking good, bro. It ain't looking that great. This hand's a bit tricky. Uh, and it just got better. Lovely. <laughs> I, is, is it though? Is it? I've prized... Oh no. I've prized Sea Kings and, and stuff. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, Yeah, safe to say we're in a bit of trouble now. <laughs> Crushing camera. Please, give me some love. Yes. Okay, get rid of you. Okay, this could be big. This could be absolutely big. I'm going to get you. And... I'm going to get you. I, I, I was kind of thinking of Crushing Hammer, but no, we need Ordinary Rod. We have to get Ordinary Rod back in. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, do both. And we're going to get you and you back. That's good. And then we're going to get two energy back as well. There we go. Okay. Crisis averted for now. For now. Crushing Hammer hits. Can we get three? I meant three heads. Can we get three heads? We can Where's your energy gone, mate? It's gone in the bin. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, man. <laughs> good fun. Good fun, good fun, good fun. Alrighty. They're in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, uh, there's another escape from us anticipating this kind of serious scenario. All right, we'll bring you up. If you're going to hit something, fine. Take my Empoleon. Do your thing. Oh, no, it's two prizes. But you can't use your ability now, my friend, because I put Empoleon in the active. You're kind of screwed. Yeah. Yeah, I figured you out, mate. I figured it out. If I just put this in the active, you can't do anything. And that's so, so amazing. And if they just get an energy on here, uh, we can gust it up the Sea King, take it out. Yeah, it's a wrap, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet as, sweet as. Granted, they can retreat and just hit it. But again, Ripping Horn can come in and cause some devastation. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Again, Clefairy. Yeah, useless, mate. Empoleon's here. Should have done that the first time around. Didn't they do... When they did that before? I should have done the Empoleon first. Oh, I don't know. Okay. They're planning to attack with the... Calyrex. That's kind of good for us. 
training court. Ah! My biggest fear is coming true. Oh, it's not good. I mean, hopefully we get to a point, like, the training court's not going to be good enough for them, right? We're going to get to a point where we discard all their energy, right? And at, and at that point, which I think we're pretty close to, by the way, there's nine in a discard pile. That's mental. Uh, 10, 11, 12. This may be all their energy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know a Calyrex that plays more than 12 energy. This might be it. This might be the the moment. A one shot of an opportunity. Um, we got to capture it before it slips. So we got to definitely take advantage here. All right, that's good. Comfort. Oh, comfort in my own home. Ain't that lovely? Okay. Ripping horn. Can you do it again? Three in a row? I'll take the two. I'll take the two. If we was in a bit of a dire situation and we kind of needed it, I would have gone for the for the reflip. But because we're comfortable, we still have Sea Kings to use. We have time. I'm not going to be hasty. I'm not going to be hasty. And at this point, if they bring Training Court back, as long as we keep using Sea King, keep finding our other crushing hammers, we should be well enough to keep them completely out of the game to a point where it just goes to deck out. And that's when Pidgeot comes in and stops us from losing. That's the goal. That is the goal. We may achieve it here. Cross switcher. Ooh, yeah, I did see that in the uh, early start of the game there. Questionable that. <laughs> You brought the Empoleon up, which means this Clefairy's not active. But then again, I guess it's not necessary. They just want to KO this. Which isn't... This isn't a bad shout, actually. Right, Marnie. Okay, we know they play Marnie. So we've got to be wary of that as well with our deck out scenario. Oh, oh, just give me more. Just give me more, my friend. That's what I love to see. Give me more discard. Now we need to find boss. That'd be kind of an ideal scenario. Oh, well... I think we're at a point where they're probably just going to pass, I would expect, after this. They want to find their extra energy. But if I'm correct, I don't think they've got any left. So I think they're trying to find training courts and stuff now. There's no way in hell this deck plays more than 12. No way. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> ah, how much energy you got in here, mate? That's 13 currently. Guaranteed this is, quite, this, this is a 20 energy deck. <laughs> nah, no, we'd see a lot more. Although, to be fair, Clefairy is quite uh, an energy hog, isn't it? Right. Crushing Hammer? Okay, yeah. yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. We, we, we've been doing well with them. We've been doing well. Ah. Uh, yes, I forgot we prized a Sea King, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's a bit annoying, actually. Maybe I should put a Pure in here, because I can't get that. There's no way I can get that Sea King back. It just ain't, ain't happening. It's just prized. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So we've only effectively got two Sea King left here. Oh, yes, another alarm. Lovely. Um, let's a reader. Let's try again. <laughs> let's try crushing hammer again, shall we? See if we get another, another whack on it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we are. Just, just problems. That's what we are. We, I want problems always. Yeah? We're, one, we're that today. We're just a problem. I can't lie, though. I do feel a little bit like a degenerate. I feel like a bit of my soul has been sold today. And uh, I'm now wondering at what cost just to win some games in an online card game. I have become what I swore to destroy. Uh, Miller's disruptors, disruptors, not disruption, uh, control players. I swore to take them down. And that's here I am joining what I clearly could not defeat. I have become one of them. And I am loving it. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> Until it's happening to me, then it's not fun. Not at all. Horrible. Absolutely terrible, man. I mean, who wants to, who wants to play a game where you can't play? You know? Unless you're the one stopping them from playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, mate. I'm trying to, I'm trying to entertain here. Please, <laughs> throw me a bone. Play a card. Oh, yeah. I just realized I'm probably preventing him from doing a lot of that. Um, I, you know, kudos to him. He's, he's playing the game through, probably holding on to the last bit of hope that is available in their list. There's another Shauna. They're definitely digging for a training court, man. There is no way they're not doing that. But again, we just need a little cheeky ripping horn, and that's enough. 
Old cemetery. I mean, honestly, fairs, right? Because you're um. <laughs> Ooh, I want a boss though. I do want a boss. I've got to think here. I want to ultra pull away to thin the hand down, but I'm worried I won't get another energy. And I won't be able to retreat the gold. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> I've made a mistake. I've made a crazy, crazy mistake. Also, we can see they pretty much see the rest of their deck. There's nothing they have available. I may have just realized something. I kind of want them to take a KO. I've overbenched. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Who has more cards currently speaking? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three. Okay, we still have more cards, so deck out is still on their side. I, 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 I need them to knock out a Pokemon, pretty much, because I need to get Pidgeot out, otherwise I may deck myself out, <laughs> which is scary. So maybe I just chill? I think I just pass. Boss does seem nice about right now, though. It does seem good. And I kind of... It's one card I'm being played. I'm still ahead, effectively. So I think that's the play. Oh, God. I feel so bad for them. All your energy's gone. <laughs> All of it. It's done. It's gone, mate. It's gone. Game's over. Go on. Pack up. Go home. It's done. It's done, mate. Absolutely ruined. Finished. Finito. I don't know any play they can make right now. Marnie, again, I still think we're fine. They're, we're, they're drawing more than us. And we have more cards. So, again, we're fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Lucky. I'm very lucky I didn't put myself in a deck out position. <laughs> because with this deck, right, I naturally play a bit aggressive. I play my cards very heavily. I like to just play, play, play. Because I know I've got the Pidgeot to lean back on. I know it's fine. Um, whereas now... I, I, <laughs> I don't think it's backfired, but it could have. It really could have backfired. But I think we're, I think we're there. I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely game now. Definitely game. No shot. No shot. There's the zero. Is it just a pass? There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to you, mate. But we got the dub. <laughs> okay. Now I have clearly... Showered myself in sins. I need to wash them off. So, <laughs> you know what it is? I think it's the spot. I think it's taking over my mind like Dr. Octopus with his tentacles. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm going to touch this deck again because it does. It, there's, there's a part of me that just doesn't feel right when playing this. <laughs> but that said, um, I like this seeking list. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the, the one issue is so. If they continually find ways to take out your Seeking and limit their resources well enough, they can overcome you quite comfortably. Um, but if, you know, you prevent them in that way as much as possible, uh, you know, you can really get there. And this is one of them decks that just really, really likes to take advantage of um, decks out there that throw a lot of energy into play. Lugia's going to have a very hard time against this deck, I think. Um, just like, you know, it does have a hard time against your Veltal, effectively. Um, so that's one thing that's going to be quite cool. Um, other matchups, though, are going to be a bit more tricky. I mean, that's why the Empoleon's there, because, you know, looking at the other basics that you have, like with Lost Box and, uh, and Reggie's, the Empoleon really is your selling point there. Ultimately, plus the Wash Energy is really the, 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 the biggest parts that you have available. Uh, but even then, Empoleon, if they do manage to get Reggie and Lecky going at some point, they're just going to be able to one-hit it. So that's something you've got to bear in mind. Um, <coughs> what other decks are they running around? Arceus, yeah, we don't, we don't mind Arceus. We can just get rid of a lot of their energy. Um, considering it's doing well. We've also got Vika Vault, but Vika Vault, ugh, tricky. I don't know. I think we actually have a decent run against a lot of the top tier decks, which is fun. I know you didn't get to see many of that today because of the ELO, but ultimately it's still a fun deck just to play around with and just to cause some havoc on the ladder against, you know, if your ELO is at a good level, it's great fun to just mess around with uh, and cause some problems. So yeah, definitely try it out, man. Seeking still, still out here, bro. Still doing bits. We're going to go ahead and leave it there. Do you like, do you enjoy? Be sure for more. Crown Zenith is coming out soon. I, I'm not really prepared for it, but as soon as I can, I'll get videos out on it, okay? <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself and peace.